Valerie Wilson, welcome to DBL. Thank you for having me. So you spoke to our own Jeff Schroeder about your COVID diagnosis. Did you ever think you could get sick from this and how sick did you actually get? I would say that my sickness was kind of like a mild flu. It wasn't that bad. And I just want to see, how are you doing? Are there any lasting effects or are you okay? I'm doing really well. There's definitely been a little bit of lasting effects though. So I recommend everybody wear a mask and stay safe. You don't want this thing. The beginning, I had a little bit of uh, brain fog and a little bit of short-term memory loss, which was really scary that that's gone away. But unfortunately, I still can't taste or smell most things. So that's been a little bit challenging to get used to. Oh no, especially as a travel blogger, you have to be able to taste and smell the air where you're going. Exactly, I, I have good faith it'll come back. It kind of comes back a little bit and then it goes away a little bit, but um, I think we'll get there. So you're a travel blogger and you already visited New York and Mexico since recovering from COVID-19. So tell me a little bit about what you tell people that want to travel just like you. You can definitely travel and stay safe if you're responsible and you feel comfortable to do so. And so there's a couple recommendations that I would make for people that are flying and traveling. The first one is get an N95 mask. I know that those are generally reserved for healthcare workers, but you want to take matters into your own hands if you do have to get onto a plane and not trust that everybody else will be doing the right thing. Also a face shield, they're really inexpensive. It does protect your mask a little bit better from even getting any sort of germs and it prevents you from touching your face. Another thing that I recommend to people that are flying is to just be aware of social distancing on the plane. Expert Flyer is a website where you can check your seat map and then Everybody really tends to gather at the baggage claim, so if you can just do a carry-on, that might be best. Also, bring Lysol wipes because Lysol is approved by the EPA for killing coronavirus, so I'm one of those people that wipes down my seat and all of that stuff. So I want to ask you, what are hotels doing to keep guests safe? Hotels are actually doing a lot. You get this amazing setup with a hand sanitizer, 15 Lysol disinfectant wipes, so that's a lot. You can wipe off your phone when you come back in. They're waiting anywhere from 24 to 48 hours before even allowing their hotel staff to go in and clean anything. And then when they do go in, think of a giant sanitizing mist going through the whole hotel room. So that's like really sanitizing everything. Something that I always recommend, and this was pre-COVID, is bring a Ziploc baggie for the remote if you plan on using the television. The remote's one of the dirtiest things in the hotel room, so just throw that in there. So what are some red flags that you tell people to watch out for when they're traveling? Some red flags that you wanna look out for are the people that are not wearing masks, not taking social distancing seriously. You wanna either be staying at one of these bigger brand hotels where they do have proper protocols in place, or you want to ask your boutique hotel and your Airbnb, what is their cleaning procedure like and what are they doing to keep you safe? Valerie, thank you so much for joining us. I love to travel, so I hope I can do it soon and safely. I hope you can too, you can do it safely. So I hope that this helps everybody out there.